Hi guys, in this video I want to show you how hospitals in Canada look like. I'm gonna drive to a small town and I'll show you the hospital there and um, what it looks like. Okay, so this is a pretty small town uh, and um, they have a hospital here. And it's a pretty big hospital for uh, like this kind of small town. After this turn, there's gonna be a hospital. Ross Memorial Hospital. This is this town called Lindsay. It's in Kawartha Lakes. It's a region in Ontario. It's about two hours drive, uh, hour and a half, two hours drive from Toronto. And here we are entering the parking lot. This is the prices, parking lot rates, how much you have to pay for the parking here. So here is a emergency entrance, as you can see, and here's the main entrance to the hospital. So this is the hospital, there's an entrance, like a main entrance for uh, uh, all the workers and uh, all like patients, uh, you have to go through the entrance. If you need the emergency service, if you uh, just uh, walk in for the doctor to see you and this is a, an emergency, it's not like uh, just you don't feel well or um, just your regular checkup or something, it's mostly for uh, some emergencies that you really don't feel well and you afraid that it could be something serious you have to go there you have to go uh, to um, uh, to an emergency entrance it's uh, right there a red uh, a red sign with emergency entrance if if it's not urgent uh, you have to visit uh, your family doctor or you have to go to the walk-in clinic but here you come uh, for some serious stuff and um, how does it work here? Uh, you come in there, uh, you enter in this emergency entrance. First, you have to see uh, um, a nurse that she's gonna check you. She's gonna check how serious your problem is. She's gonna check if it's um, nothing major. Um, and then she, she's gonna check your temperature. She's gonna check your symptoms. She's gonna ask you questions. She will uh, need your uh, OHIP card, uh, medical uh, OHIP card. It's a um, uh, uh, medical insurance card from Ontario, from, uh, uh, from the government and uh, then she'll put you on hold she'll put you on the line and you will have to wait sometimes it, the wait the line could be really uh really big uh could be like few hours even but um in the hospitals they're further from toronto the lines are usually not that crazy than in toronto because in toronto more people uh, more people coming to the hospitals, the lines are bigger. We were at this hospital with our uh, Jessica when she uh, fell uh, in daycare and we were waiting just for one hour. They put the stitches on her after one hour of our wait, they put the stitches on her and we were free to go. Uh, usually you have to pay for a parking in, uh, in the parking lots, in uh, hospitals. Uh, yeah, usually they, yeah, they not free of charge, so you have to pay and they have like a short term parking. Let's say you, you come in here for emergency for a few hours, or you know that they was going to spend just only a few hours here. So you're coming here. Uh, this is a parking lot we sit in now. Um, and the rates you saw on where we're entering, entering it. Uh, you just, yeah, so you have to pay like, uh, by hours. And, but you, if you know that you come in for a longer time, for like, uh, if, let's say you have a delivery here uh, and you're waiting for, um, you're waiting for your baby to come. So, and it could take like, uh, I don't know, at least like half day or even like uh, 24 hours uh, and you need to park your car. They usually have like long-term 
uh, parking spots when it's like overall cheaper than if you pay by hours uh, but it's a, a separate lot I'm gonna show you right now so here's the separate lot for the for long term right here you just enter in through the gates and uh, uh, sometimes you pay uh, when you enter in, but most usually you pay when you exit in. So when you get exit in, you have to pay at the cashier or you have to pay uh, right in front of the gates, right at the gates. So it's actually, that's a small tip, but it's good to know because if you come in for a longer period of time, that could be cheaper to park here at long-term parking, then you're gonna park over in, uh, in a spot when it's a uh, short-term uh, parking. They do have an older part of the hospital and the newer. And you can see this is a red, dark red brick is an older part. And uh, the, the part with the glass and the aluminum is a, it's a newer part. So you're, you're just looking at right, right at the two different parts of the hospital. As you can see, the building of the hospital is pretty big. I hope this video was helpful for you. I just want to show you what this look like uh, and uh, what you uh, what you should expect when you would need to visit the hospital. So if you've never been to Canada or if you've never been to Canadian hospital, you probably uh, don't know what, you wouldn't know what to do probably. And uh, uh, I hope that was helpful for you. So you have like a general idea how it looks, what to do and where to go and um, what not to do. If you have any questions, please ask me in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit notification bell. So any, every time we will upload a new video, you will get notification about that and you won't miss any of our videos. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.